and welcome back. Hey, how are you? How's it going? Today I have a little unboxing slash haul video for you guys. Some things that I purchased that I was actually really excited to purchase. Um, I have them here on the side. Basically, got some stuff from Suavecita per usual, but they brought out something really new that I just had to get. So, have Suavecita and I also have some things from ColourPop. So, let's jump right into this video, shall we? Alrighty, so I want to start off with Suavecita because, hello, that's my favorite. So we have the box right here. Got Mr. Suavecito right there. And the box is actually open already because I may have opened it to peek at what was inside. So there's that. Um, so basically we're going to open up the box and get right to it. So. If you actually keep up with Suavecita like I do, then you would know what they brought out. And if not, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. So basically, they decided to collab with the Bride of Frankenstein. So they brought out a few lippies and a compact mirror. So this here is actually a poster. We got our poster right here. How freaking cool is she? The way it's set up, like, how freaking perfect is that? Now on to the important stuff. Just kidding, that was part of it, but here we go. So before we even get any further into this video, they have these stickers that they put inside the box. And there's that one. Between the two, I really like this one. I think it is so cool and so beautiful. Like, it's just, it's perfect. Okay. So for the packaging, let me just say how freaking cool it is. Like, they have these lipsticks packaged as like a book. So this is Bride of Frankenstein Lip Duo Volume 1. And like, oh my god, they even have the little side name here. This is the back. But like, how freaking cute. And then you just slide it up and you get your first lip duo set. When we open it, ba -boom. Look at how freaking, oh, I am so in love with this, guys. You have no idea. So in volume one, let me get these lipsticks out because they're kind of difficult. Okay, finally got the lipsticks out, but this is the liquid lipstick and it is called It's Alive. This is pretty purple like plumish look i guess we'll say like look at that guys that packaging is so cute the freaking lid itself is pretty i can't i really can't it is so perfect we're gonna go ahead and swatch it real quick just gonna do a little dab there look at that swatch guys that is so purple i love it and then we got our lipstick, our semi-matte lipstick in the color Frankie. This is the packaging on that. Then we just hit the button and bloop, comes out. So that's how Frankie looks. It's a pretty, pretty green color. How freaking amazing. This makes me so excited. Like when I saw this, like the first time that they posted it on Instagram, I was like, Ooh, that's gonna be freaking insane. I'm ready for it. And now to swatch this one. That is Frankie. How freaking yes. We love that. Wow. Just wow. All that happening and it was just volume one, guys. That all happened in volume one. But moving on, here we have volume two. I prefer this packaging better than volume one because I just really love this photo better than volume one. I don't know, I just, I freaking love it so much. But again, this is how it looks when we open it. Cute. So this one's the same thing, same concept with the lipsticks. We have the semi-matte liquid lipstick, not liquid, semi-matte lipstick. And then we have the liquid lipstick here. So with the liquid lipstick, this one is We Belong Dead. And it is this pretty, I want to say purple, like, I don't know. It looks like a purple to me. It kind of looks like a purple gray color. I don't know my colors too well, obviously. We're going to go ahead and swatch that because it's a very 
pretty. No, I think it was gray. It's gray. I don't know why I thought it was purple, but whatever. Anyway, so this is the swatch right here for We Belong Dead. Kind of looks purple to me, but it's probably just the way it looks right now and the light that I have. But that's We Belong Dead and it is very pretty. And then our lipstick is Bride. And this is She. Another purple color, plummy looking. And then we're gonna swatch it. And then we got Bride right there. That's how she looks. So freaking pretty. I really can't with these colors, guys. Like, they're so... They're so pretty. It's like the perfect thing. What the heck? So these are the lip duos together from volume two. And as you can see, the packaging on these ones is silver. Whereas volume one was gold. Eee, I can't. They're so freaking... Look at the swatches. Like... Oh my god, I love the purples and that gray one is freaking beautiful. Frankie, I'm probably gonna have to get used to. I probably don't think I'm gonna wear Frankie all the time because that's just out of my comfort zone. Way, way out of my comfort zone. So probably gonna have to grow into Frankie, but she's still cute. <laughs> and the final thing from the Bride of Frankenstein and Suavecita collab was this really cute compact mirror that they brought out with the lippies. Look how freaking beautiful this is. Like, oh my god. This is her outside of the box. How freaking, yes, we love that. And then this is the back side. The double mirror, as you can see, we got the regular mirror and the close-up, I guess. That's what it looks like. The one thing I'm obsessed about with this mirror is the design all around. It is so detailed. It is beautiful. We freaking love that. Yes. Um, it's so, and it's heavy too. It's a little heavy. Probably whack someone with this. I don't recommend it though. Okay, so for ColourPop, this is the box it came in. Just a bland old box that's fragile on the side. <laughs> Nothing too exciting about it. But basically from ColourPop, I just went ahead and purchased some eyeshadow palettes that I was kind of eyeballing for a little while. So that's what I'm gonna show y'all. Alrighty, so the first palette is the Disney Designer collection and it is a princess palette how freaking cute has tiana ariel bell who is that <laughs> i don't know who that one is um snow white and cinderella and then we have our names in the back so basically they are chip juju grumpy triton abu Thingamabob, One Kiss, Fairy Godmother, Ray, Prince Charming, Enchanted Rose, Poison Apple, Magic Carpet, Beast, and Midnight Curfew. Sounds very, very Disney. So when we open it up, it looks like this. We have the princesses' signatures on the top and then our beautiful colors on the bottom. There's a little close-up of them for you. So out of all the colors in this palette, I want to say that my favorites would be Abu for one, Beast would be a number two, Enchanted Rose would be number three, Midnight Curfew a number four, and for the fifth one, I'm going to go ahead and say Magic Carpet, which is this guy right here. I would say those are my top five out of this whole palette. The other colors are cute as well, but the ones that actually caught my eye were those five that I mentioned. So that is for the Designer Collection palette. It is so pretty. Can't wait to try it and mess around with it. Moving on while we are on the Disney theme, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys palette number two. And this one is the Disney Villains palette called Misunderstood. If I could just get it out of here, that would be great. Okay, so... This is how the outside packaging looks. I think this one is so much cooler than the designer palette. Like this, woo, I love this whole black on black design and the lettering itself, like it's the perfect combination. I love it so much. So this is how the actual palette looks. Like I said, it looks freaking amazing. Like what? So majestic, I love it. 
And then this is the back and it has all the names of the shades yet again. Panther, don't you dare start playing with the cord. Okay, so when we open it, she looks like this. Freaking majestic, right? We love that. Look at those designs. I'm amazed, man. I think I like this one better than the other palette I showed you guys. But so the names on this palette are No Spots, Mongrels, Diablo, Devious, Tragic, The Fates. Are you really gonna play right now? Flotsam, Forest of Thorns, Pain and Panic, Underworld, Revenge, Sing, Jetsam, Facile, and 101. So very very majestic so for my top five favorites of this palette i'm going to say that sing is number one this guy right here and coming in second would be jetson which is this blue shade right here he's pretty sparkly pretty shiny which i actually think i like very much <laughs> coming in third would be underworld which is this one right here Four would be Devious, which is this guy right here. And then number five would be Flotsam, which is this guy right here. I just find the sparkly ones kind of cute for some reason. I don't know, they're just really, really pretty and I'm very excited to play with them. I'm just very excited, guys. I swear to God. Excuse Panther in the background, he's going a little crazy now. So we're gonna keep it at Disney level because that's the majority of the palettes that I got was Disney themed. So moving on, we got the Midnight Masquerade palette, which looks like this. And I love that the palette is like that royal blue color. It fits it so nicely. And the shape of this palette is cute as well. It's not like the regular rectangle palette. It has its own little shape, which is so freaking cute. So the names on this palette is Spinning Wheel, Damsel, Pip, Enchanted, Mama Odie, Frog and Wife, Royal Ball, Mrs. Potts, Floating Lantern, Jolly, I think that's how you say it, I don't know, Nutmeg, New Dream, Gaston, Quasimodo, and Meriwether. Okay, so when we open this baby up, this is what we are looking at. We have the princesses all glammed up, up here in the top. And then we have our colors right here. Okay, so to start off for my top five, I'm gonna go ahead and give Gaston number one. This is what he looks like. Y'all see how pretty he is, this one right here. And then number two would be Nutmeg, which is this guy right here. And then number three would be Mama Odie, which is up here at the top. She's got some like green in her, if I'm not mistaken. It's like a pearl looking color. I guess that's the closest I could say. Four is going to be Damsel, which is this one right here. And for number five, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to, I think I'll go ahead and give it to Jolly. I don't really know how to pronounce that name. I don't know, but this one is going to be my number five. But I gotta say, all the colors on here are very beautiful. Like, I think I like these so much more than the other palettes that I showed you guys. So, um, I don't know if that says anything. <laughs> all right, so enough about the Disney for a second. Um, besides the Disney, even though that was the majority of the items that I bought, but besides that, I got one item that was kind of just regular. It was a palette that was kind of hyped up for a bit because Valentine's Day was coming up and all that jazz. So I thought I'd go ahead and get part of the hype. So I went ahead and got the All That palette, which is this simple red, red palette. And this is what the back looks like as well. So as far as the shade names go, this one has Uncuffed, Cha-Cha, Silhouette, BB Girl, Fishnets, Infatuation, Come Through, Uncensored, Please Me, The Feels, Wink Wink, and Risqué. Cool, cool, cool. So when we open it, this is how it looks. Simple red. And on the top here, it says, and then some. So basically, it would say, all that, and then some. And then we have our colors right down here. 
and I really love the whole theme of this palette like the red the black I feel the vibes I feel it very very much alrighty so for my top five shade favorites I'm gonna go ahead and combine risque and silhouette as one because they kind of look similar to me just risque is a little darker but I still kind of see the same concept, so I'm going to go ahead and combine those together as one favorite. I want to say that Wink Wink is going to be a second. And then I'm going to go ahead and give number three to Cha Cha, which is this shade right here, if you can see it, <laughs> right here. Number four is going to be the Feels, which is this guy right here. He is a black shade, black sparkly shade. And then for number five, I think I'm gonna go ahead and say Please Me, which is right next to the feels. So um, yeah, that completes this palette. I'm not that excited to try this one because like I said, it is kind of whatever, the simple palette of them all. So I have no idea when I got lipstick on my nose. I don't know if you guys caught that, um, but I don't know. I just saw that as I was editing. Not sure how it got there, but it's there. I apologize. Let's continue. <laughs> I'll still try it, but I'm not that excited. I'm kind of just on the norm about that one, but that is all that. And then to finish this video off, save the best for last. We're gonna get into this last set. So, you guys already know that I have the Frozen 2 and ColourPop collab set, but you guys just know that I have Elsa's set. So, long story short, I went ahead and got Anna's set. So, this is our girl. I'm very excited. So, Originally, I had actually wanted to get the Anna set first, but I kind of got lucky with the Elsa palette when I made a trip to Ulta because it was the only one there. But this is the original one that I wanted to get first, and I am very excited to finally have it. The colors in this palette made me so excited. They gave me so many fall vibes, like I was all for it. So I am very excited to finally have it here in my hands now. Let's open this baby up and let's check her out. Okay, so we have opened her up. This is what we got. Same concept as Elsa set. Have the glitter gel here, lipstick there, palette, and the liquid lip gloss. We're gonna look at the palette first because that's initially what I wanted. So we got Miss Anna right up front. Freaking gorgeous. And then we have the back right here. Oh, I just love the purple vibes, man. It's so, I love it, I love it. Okay, so for the shade names, we have Scoochin, Wind, Earth, Autumn Breeze, Arendelle, Adventure, Warm Hugs, Fearless, and I think that says charades. So, this is what we get when we open it. How freaking cute. Look at those colors, guys. Ah, I am in love. Okay, 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 I have to choose top five, top five. Okay, I'm gonna start off with Warm Hugs as number one. It is this very neutral color, but it has some green specks in it. Number two is going to be Fearless, which is this orange shade right next to it. Three is gonna be Charades, which is this brown shade. So like, all these three. <laughs> Four is gonna be this shade right here, which is Scoochin, and it has little specks as well. I wanna say they're pink specks, if I'm not mistaken. It's like it has gold specks. I'm sorry, not pink, but if you can see it, that would be amazing. <laughs> Alrighty, and for the fifth and final favorite, I'm going to say Adventure. So pretty purple. Oh my god. I can't. This whole palette is freaking adorable. I love it. I love them all, but I'm gonna say that those five are my favorites. Okay, so that is the palette. Next, we're gonna bring out the liquid lipstick, if I'm not mistaken. No, just kidding. It was a glossy lip. So this is what she looks like. I actually like it. It's a pretty, pretty color. This color is called Free Spirit, and uh, let's see what the swatch looks like. Oh, you are very glossy. Ugh, okay. 
Ooh, that smells good. That smells like caramel for some reason. But this is a swatch for Free Spirit. Not too shabby. Not that much of a fan of gloss, so we'll see how this goes. So then we have the lipstick that looks like this. So freaking cute. It is called Going North, and this is what it looks like. So many fall vibes, man. I love it. And that is the swatch for the lipstick. I freaking love it. I can't. Oh, I'm already loving this one more. Than I dropped the lipstick. I knew I loved this set when I first saw it. Now that I have it in my hands, I love it a hundred times more. It is so cute. I can't. It is insane. Alright, so the final thing for this set and for this video um, is the glitter gel. And this one is a gold, what looks like a gold glitter gel. And it is called Waterfall. Interesting. This is how she looks. So freaking pretty. Look at that. Tell me that's not pretty. Ooh, these are great shimmers of gold. Would you look at that? Wow. We approve, man. We totally approve. Oh my god. Okay. I am straight up fangirling about this set, guys. Like, I cannot believe I was able to get it. I am just all over the place. It is so beautiful. Everything about this set is beautiful. I think it is my favorite compared to Elsa's set. Oh my god, now this glitter won't come off. This is why I don't like glitter, but I accept this one because it's part of the Anna set. But yeah, guys, that is basically going to conclude today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and throw me a big old thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see a makeup try-on video with all of the things that I have purchased. I'm going to see if I can sort that out for you guys on trying everything here um maybe a little bit from each palette i don't know we'll see but if you want to see that throw me a big old thumbs up go ahead and comment down below your thoughts about basically what i got comment down below which set you prefer Anna set or elsa set i am very curious if you say Anna set by the way we're best friends i promise don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications to know when I post. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram to keep up with my not so entertaining life and my channel's life. I love each and every single one of you and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!